Rag Hendrigam welcomes you all to Guru Tvam, understanding of the phenomenon that we call as Guru and Guruness. Let us meet the Vidwans and Vidushis who will be sharing their own experiences on Guru and Guru Tvam. A very warm welcome to everyone to the special meet by Rag Hendrigam Guru Tvam in commemoration of the 92nd Jayanti of our Parama Guru Brahma Sri Kollegal Art Subramanian. I am Jyotsna, student of Srimadhi Malini Vishuna. Let me tell a few words about Rag Hendrigam. It's a music ensemble created by our Guru Srimadhi Malini Vishuna in 2000 when she was in Kuwait to propagate Carnatic classical music. In addition to our regular classes, we organize a special meets where we, the students of Rag Hendrigam, virtually meet meet from different continents of the world to listen to various masters their experiences and discuss various aspects of music today on this special meet gurutum we are here to listen from various vidwans and vidushis what guru means on the panel today we have vidushi shrimati usha ramamurthy a very distinguished gotavadyam exponent who is versatile in playing a challenging instruments like gotavadyam We are next with Shri Srimadhi Sukhanda Kalamega, an acclaimed musician whose music is very rich and traditional. We are also happy to have with Shri Srimadhi Kamala Narayanan, who is Kamala Mami to all of us, an incredible vocalist and a violinist. Last, but certainly not the least, it is always a pleasure to have Vidwan Shri B. Vaidinathan, who hails from a very illustrious musical legacy. We are happy to have Shishyas of B. V. Sir and Shishyas of Kollegal Sir joining us for this session. Vidwan Kollegal Sir. Premium ji had his basic coaching in music from Sri Balakrishna Iyer fondly called KRS or Kollegal he was trained at the Gurukulam by Ganakala Bhushana Brahma Sri Velakumari Vadraj Iyengar of Bangalore who also happened to be my own guru when i was a vocalist after completing his intensive education in vocal music he settled in hyderabad to teach vocal music apart from being a eminent vagiyakara he was also a highly respected jyotishacharya and also a philosopher in addition, to inventing 13 new ragas his works include over 450 kritis written in various languages to be a part of his 92nd anniversary celebration i thank malini vishwanathan and her students vidwan shri b vaidyanathan who hails from an illustrious musical legacy a musician musicologist par excellence namaskaram to one and all so i would like to talk about kalegal subramanya mama briefly first our humble pranams to maha mahopadhyaya nadopasaka sri vidya shreshta upasaka guru brahma sri kalegal subramanya mama we call him fondly kalegal mama i know him from my childhood because he was very close to my father balasubramanya bhavathar and he is well known here in hyderabad and south india with his great dedication and his teaching and his established sampradaya paddhati he was born in the place called kollegal it was in tamil nadu earlier now i think it must be in karnataka after his guru shikshana and education he came to hyderabad in the year 1953 and settled down here a great vagyakara upasaka had a cream of shishya brindam under his tutelage he has made sashvata contribution inculcating vidya vivekam vinayata and sampradaya sangeetha only sangeetha alone will not help everyone we have to have vidya vivekam and the behavioral traits everything plays a vital role this is what we get it in any gurukula he has really made such a sashvata contribution for his shishyas and many other people although they are not directly under him he has really really help everyone to grow and brought in a kind of holistic approach and his legacy is carried forward for generations to come kolegal mama brought sadguru tyagaraja to hyderabad by making a tyagaraja pratishtha in hyderabad maybe it was somewhere in mid 80s i think it must be 83 or 86 i was also participating i was blessed to be part of that and he has established traditional utsava sampradaya aaradhana paddhati be it unchavrti be it tyagaraja aaradhana everything he has established a very very systematic aaradhana paddhati he was really differentiating between ashraddham and aaradhana the way he was conducting then pancharatna unchavrti all those things he has really made a kind of eye opening process to many generations to come in hyderabad the place was originally vidyanagar or ramnagar gundu now it is known as chinna tiruvayaru so something a person contributing which will last long a shashvata contribution can be possible only by great gurus so the place 
where tyagaraja temple is there it's known as chinna tiruvayar everyone calls chinna tiruvayar his life teaching and giving us is the best example of gurudev let me tell you a sm- small story in a lighter moment so olden days there was no kind of college university and certification and all those things it was guru and shishyas one shishya asked guru when will i become eligible to go out of this gurukul it was a very good question no? so guru said you should be in a position to know what you know you should be in a position to know what you do not know you should be in a position to handle even what you do not know by virtue of your experience that is guru that is called a real capacity building one last venture asked i do not know what i know i do not know what i know when should i go the guru said you go now <laughs> so it is like that not only they teach something some vidya but they also teach us mannerisms how to conduct how to behave how to talk to people all these things by setting an example these are all the things we learn and to get a good guru is just a anugrah we have mahavishnu as our guru this is how we have to treat them even mahavishnu comes with guru we first prostrate before guru then only mahavishnu this is how our sampradaya our traditional system has been established so guru and shishya shishya should feel that guru knows everything Shishya has to follow Guru sincerely and the Guru will gather all the knowledge from even outside and give it to Shishya. This is how it has been happening in our Indian traditional system. So it's purely blessings that we get a flow of blessings from Guru for not only Shishya, for their family and for generations to come. Shishya has also do karma to Guru. When my father passed away, one of his Shishya did karma along with him. This is how the flow of blessing is given. felt and see guru anugraham becomes a constant flow i will give an example of my father's guru m a kalyana krishna bhagavatar from manjapara a great learned man he was known as savya sachi he was vainika and dayaka so when my father was around mid 20s he moved to trichy from balagad he was new to tamil nadu first concert at kumbakonam vani vila sabha the then famous sabha so his name was written bala subramanya bhagavatar those days we do not have that facebook online all those things they write in a blackboard next day when he came and saw the board within the parenthesis bracket it is written disciple of m a kalyana krishna bhagavatar it was not originally written then my father felt okay my guru is around here then he found out where he was staying he went to the hotel prostrated before him. then m a kalyana krishna bhagavatar asked enna subramanya kida disciple of kalyana krishna bhagavatar na ezhudala why you have not written then he said anna in the ur kudus i am singing for the first time so i don't want my guru's name to be spoiled <laughs> that is the for every act there must be some genuine reason but that has to be found out then m a kalyana krishna bhagavatar said ni amohama paaduva nanna paaduva nanda ezhudine this is how guru shishya relationship is formed the faith in each one this is also one of the essence of gurutva then i was traveling different parts of the country and even outside the country and i was not regular in music i was just trying to learn even now okay <laughs> so my father passed away in the year 1993 what he said is just before passing away he said even oru maha vidwana tayar avan so these kind of words it comes from deep of their heart and he has blessed so many people similarly puranam purushottam shastri garu he was in guntur in his teenage or maybe early 20s he went to dakshinadi from andhra many people go to dakshinadi to learn music tamil nadu kerala and all so he went and attended a interview in central college of karnataka then he got selected then the then principal and puranam garu's guru he came to him and said you are selected you need to pay fees then purana immediately those days young days you know he said i do not have money i will not be in a position to pay he made a very abrupt statement then musiri garu said then why you attended interview those days you know avalu kanda vayasala avlo chutuka pesiruva they don't see the repercussions of the dialogue ha ah, mostly other state people don't get selected i just wanted to come here and attend and see the interview then musiri garu immediately said come and meet me on monday morning puranam garu went to principal all room musri paid fees for 3 years to puranam garu so this is your receipt take it you are such a progressive person you are going to be become one of the great vidwan so i don't want you to lose this opportunity so musri paid fees this is how emotionally 
many times puranam gar expressed so he even before he becoming uh, shishya of musri garu musri already saw the vidwat in him then once kollegal mama it must be around i think early 90s or late 80s he spoke to my father can i ask kanna to come home because my father was very senior so he will ask like yes yes i will send him then i went to kollegal mama's house in the varsham you are going to sing purandara das kirtanas one and a half hours concert for you then i said mama ela konnum theriyadu purandara das kirtana theriyadu no you are going to sing this is how they give us the challenge of learning it was hardly about 20 days or 15 days so immediately i started listening to record noting down the kriti language also a problem then some of my kannada shishyas helped me then i made about 8 to 10 kriti small small chitti and kept it in my pocket mine was a main program prior to me this hyderabad sisters were singing hyderabad sisters means not lalita haripriya padma and uh, aruna padma so i had about 8 or 10 kritis in my list in the yapar deshi sang so i had to remove one chitti <laughs> They say, hang on, one more, one more chit. Then I thought, okay, remaining six kritis or five kritis. So I should use my mano dharma of singing in Naravu. Because there, there was a restriction of not singing Swarakalpana. We can sing Ragalpana, Naravu, but not Swarakalpana. His son-in-law, Sriman Gopalakshnan, was playing Mridangam for me. Then I thought, okay, remaining six kritis or five kritis. So I should use my mano dharma of singing in Naravu. Then I thought, okay, remaining six kritis or five kritis. So I should use my mano dharma of singing in Naravu. Then whatever I had balance, I started singing. <laughs> then when I... took uh, subabandhu rali as main bharaya ranga then i started singing naravu then he said kanna unak ella exempted you can sing swarakalpana also he said <laughs> like that uh, the concert went beyond one and a half hours this is how the anugraham works so they see something in us and they give us lot of thing more than what we expect more than what we deserve guru shows immense patience think about shishyas 24 into 7 this is what i have seen the gurus with whom i work and i am also trying to do but i am asking for at least 26 hours to think about the shishyas and puranam garu was always thinking about shishyas thinking about welfare of the country and so many things suddenly he calls me around 5:30 he says we have that kargil war so why not we do shankara varna saptah so we all go there at shankara matam we do a seven day shankara varna saptah this is how they think about even the shishya parampara even they go for the welfare of the country welfare of the universe one year there was a failure of monsoon he said let us do harapriya saptah that is karahara priya raga so we had kumbha varsham that year so this is how guru always think about shishya think about universe think about various other vidwan guru set right example and his or her teaching we have to respect and many times on the stage we learn a lot of the stage we learn a lot when i was singing along with my guru he said sing he was singing some juja huli or some rag i said sir ningale padunga oh apdiya seri na ne padunga so they will understand they will not let us down so this is how guru really uh, help guru's unconditional love blessing is a great great vara prasadam for shishya and for their generations to come this i have seen i have experienced it and guru will have utmost highest level of forgiveness the guru understand shishyas make mistake in their behavior and many times we knowingly or unknowingly must have hurt our guru but they will not even express that they were hurt they will wait for shishyas to realize one day this has happened with me also this is called the gurutvam essence and quality of music and behavior is the one they give make shishyas understand the sampradaya sangeetam enhance the sangeeta gnanam beyond abstract of kritis many places we teach kritis ah uh, in the kriti vandaachi seal potu mudid no night like same kriti may be continued for 10 years or 15 years you are learning every day something this is how they uh, help us to go beyond that abstract kritis capacity building how to handle known and unknown things ultimately the music teaching is used as a means of understanding the nada vidya understanding the bhakti marga understanding the deeper emotion i have seen many times on the stage my guru once he was singing unti ramudu everyone among the audience were crying like musri's pahi ramachandra ragava these emotions we don't get this is how they have inculcated such a deeper traditional art and they have helped us to use music as a means of worship and they helped us to understand the lakshya sangeetam and lakshana sangeetam this is possible only with the gurutvam a guru with a traditional background
this is what i thought i will share it with you to the best of my knowledge thank you so much vidushi shrimati sugandha karanegam known for her rich repertoire and strict adherence to padantara thank you Sri Vaidhinayan Sar has expressed a lot of things about what Gurudham is about. We coming from a traditional way of learning music. We have a total faith in the Guru. Whatever the Guru says is the word for us. Agyana tinirandhasya nyananjana shalakaya chakshurunmilitam tena tasmai shri gurave namaha. This is the slogan. This slogan, what it actually means is, Guru is the one who opens your eyes. So he is the one who initiates you into whatever you are going to pursue. It is not only music, anything. Those days when a child was sent to a child was just seven or eight probably. That means the whole life starts with the Guru. After his parents, Mata, Pita, Guru, Daivam. In that, this thing, he, the Guru comes next to the parents. So at home, he learns to speak and other things at home. And when he reaches the Gurukulam, that is where he really starts learning things. So the responsibility of the Guru is too much. He has to uh, give the knowledge and also teach mannerisms and uh, uh, discipline, everything to the child. So Guru, this Guru is a very important uh, period in our life, in anybody's lifetime. Now also we, uh, we start that too early, probably at one and a half, we leave the child into the play school and, you know, there it starts. Coming to music, I think I had the great fortune of learning under great gurus. First, I started at Delhi under Sri Kadayam Krishnamurti and he was a teacher who was so simple, so simple. And I was uh, very scared to even talk a word to him, so scared. It, to that extent, he used to call me Vasanta and I would not try to correct him that I am Sugandha. So that scared I was. So then it came across T.R. Subramaniam, Madhuri Mangalam, Ramachandran. They are all coming from the traditional schools. Mainly what they taught us was the Padantarams, which really have a great value in our traditional music system. When I came to Govindra Asa, it was a very small stint with him. But in that small stint, he made me understand what exactly music is. He was not particular about his way of approaching music was very different from the earlier teachers. The earlier teachers were, we learnt more of Kritis and the Kalpana Sangeetam and all those things. Here he made me understand what really music is, what it can lead one to. A feeling of bliss comes when you really approach music the way Sri Govindra used to approach music. In a class that would extend up to two, two and a half hours, he would just start one Kriti in Kalyani. He'll start the first line and then it will shift to the another uh, Kalyani, another Kalyani, another Kalyani. So he would reveal the different facets of the same Raga. So that way of, you know, learning music was, it was very, very, I must say, I gained a lot because that gave an insight into the Raga. That was the way he approached music. So then when I started uh, listening to music, it was that way, you know, uh, seeing different uh, facets of the raga and the different compositions and that automatically reflects when you are singing the Kalpana Sangeeta. So for me that way of approaching music was very helpful and I was very much impressed. But of course he also would say I am not going to teach like this to newcomers who are just learning music. You are already a performing artist so I am trying to tell you all this. I went to him when I was close to 40. So that was the time when I was already a greater artist and I was performing quite a bit. And then what he realized was I must be introduced to this way of approaching music. So that was his greatest blessing, I must say. Because I have also listened to his group classes, where he just would teach Kritis. In his group classes, there used to be about 15 students of different ages and they would learn the Kriti and go away. But for me, it was one-to-one -one and this is the way he uh, would approach music. And uh, Kalpana Sangeetam for Nerval singing, he gave me such valuable tips how to approach Nerval singing. After that, you know, I was always passionate about singing uh, Nerval. That is, that apart, when he started uh, telling me, it uh, became almost, you know, I would uh, end up singing Nerval for hours together. 
because we had so many varieties to explore in narval singing and now i am able to do that to my students who have come to a stage of advanced training i am able to do that and they seem to enjoy it very much so this element of enjoyment is very 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 important for a person to sing well unless we enjoy we cannot make others enjoy so this way for me it gives so much of pleasure and mental peace suppose i have sung kalyani to my heart's content i feel very calm and quiet the whole day so that is the power of music now they are also trying a music as therapy it means a lot so these gurus those who have helped me realize this i am ever grateful to them so this is what is gurudwa and today's context this gurudwa it is becoming again a virtual gurudwa it cannot be otherwise with my students i have a total intimate relationship in the sense i inquire them inquire about their welfare their family and then how they are doing in studies today i cannot tell them you have to make music your livelihood or you should pursue music i just tell them whether you are going to sing it as a profession or whatever it is this is going to help you in the long run we all have gone through what is life and at the end of the day we all need total peace and calm within that will really help us face life better unless you have a calm mind you cannot face life successfully that is what bhagavad gita also says so we can relate all these things and uh, gurutva means guiding the children the right way as a shloka which i spoke about earlier it just says the guru must be eye opener so we are going to open their eyes to good things in life whether it is the uh, music dance whatever they do and character building that is the most important job of a guru and how do they learn when the guru itself is going to be like that as our vidyanand sir said being with the guru really makes the person understand what is good in life bad in life everything they learn so with these words i would like to say that i'm very happy to have talked about what is gurutva as i have experienced and what i teach my own students vidushi shrimati kamala narayanan distinguished vaidika and vocalist ellarku namaskaram shri gurubhyo namaha 92avadi jayanti brahmasri kolekal ar subramaniam avaroda avara na paathade kedaiyadu ana enoda student malin solli nariye kelvi pattirken avar vande tyagarajaroda tiruviyariye tankitta kondu vandutar avar thaan kondu vandara tyagarajar avargitta vandara adu theriyadu ana ka tyagarajar avargitta vandutar avarku kovil katti chinna tiruviyara adellaru sollita sugandha kaalamegam avargalum seri vaidinathan sir avargalum seri nalla na sollanu ஒரு <laughs> பாடமா இருந்தாலும் முதல்ல அந்த பாடாந்தரத்த நன்னா பண்ணிக்கணும் லிரிக்ஸ அந்த வார்த்தைகளை புரிஞ்சுண்டு பாடணும் அதுக்கு ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் சொன்னா டான்ஸ் கிளாஸ்ல வந்து நடந்துட்டு இருந்தது தங்கரி மாமி அந்த குழந்தைக்கு பாடல் சொல்லி கொடுத்திருக்கா அவ ஒரு காம்படிஷன் அமைச்சிருக்கா காம்படிஷன் அமைச்சோடனே அந்த காம்படிஷன்ல ஒரு லிரிக்ஸ கொடுத்து அதுக்கு அபிநயம் பிடிக்க சொல்லியிருக்கா இந்த நெற்றி ஒற்றி கண்ணனோடு நர்தனம் செய்தான்னு வார்த்தையை கொடுத்திருக்கா அந்த குழந்தை சட்டுன்னு அதுக்கு சரியா புரிஞ்சுதா புரியலையான்னு தெரியல உடனே அது வந்து என்ன சொல்லிட்டுனாக்க நெற்றி ஒற்றை கண்ணனோடு அப்படின்னு சொல்றதுக்கு பதிலா நெற்றி ஒற்றை கண்ணனோடுன்னு ஃப்ளூட் வாசிக்கிற மாதிரி காமிச்சு அது காம்படிஷன் புடிச்சுட்டு ரிஜெக்ட் ஆயிடுச்சு இந்த வந்து கேட்ட ஏன் ரிஜெக்ட் ஆனா என்ன சொன்னா என்னன்னு கேட்டா இது மாதிரி வார்த்தை லிரிக்ஸ் கொடுத்துருந்தா நான் இந்த மாதிரி அபிநயம் பிடிச்சு காமிச்சேன் அப்போ சங்கரி மாமி இந்த பாட்டு சொல்லி கொடுக்கச்சு இது சொல்லுவா இது மாதிரி நடந்தது அந்த குழந்தைக்கு தப்பு சொல்லல அதாவது புரிஞ்சுட்டு புரிஞ்சுக்காம நம்ம செய்யற ஒரு ஒரு விஷயமும் எவ்வளவு விபரீதமாயிடுது விபரீத அர்த்தம் வந்துருது நெற்றி ஒற்றை கண்ணன்னா யாரு நெத்து ஒத்த கண்ணு நெத்தியில இருக்கிறவனுக்கு சிவன் தானே இல்லையா நெற்றி ஒற்றை கண்ணனோடு நர்தனம் செய்தார் அப்படி இது வந்து எப்படின்னாக்க கண்ணன்கிற வார்த்தையை வச்சுட்டு இது ஃப்ளூட் காமிச்சிருத்தோம் அதனால அது தெரியல பா அந்த பொண்ணு மேல தப்பு இல்ல குரு வந்து என்னன்னாக்க முதல்ல இந்த லிரிக்ஸுக்கு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அர்த்தம் சொல்லி தரணும் மாமி வந்து எங்கிட்ட கதான் சொன்னா நான் வந்து அந்த குழந்தை டேந்து நான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லேர்ன் தான் லேர்ன் பண்ணது சொல்றா நான் வந்து அந்த எந்தெந்த வார்த்தைகள் வரும் அதெல்லாம் சொன்னா இந்த வார்த்தை தான் வரும் நம் மாமிக்கு தெரியாது 
நெற்றி <laughs> ஒற்றை <laughs> எல்லாருக்குமே எல்லா விதமான எண்ணங்கள் இருக்கும் எல்லா விதமான சுபாவமும் இருக்கும் இருந்தாலும் அந்த ஹம்புலா சங்கரி மாமி வந்து பாட்டோடு சேர்ந்து இந்த மாதிரி விஷயங்கள்லாம் நடக்கிறதுக்கு சான்ஸ் இருக்கு அதனால நீங்க எல்லாம் நன்னா புரிஞ்சுட்டு நல்லபடியா நீங்க எல்லாத்தையும் நன்னா பண்ணணும் மூணாவது தியாகராஜ சபா பாம்பேல ஸ்கூல் அது அதுல வந்து சேர்ந்தேன் அப்ப அந்த சிக்ஸ் இயர் கோர்ஸ்ல என்னன்னாக்கா ஆல்ரெடி நான் நிறைய பாடாந்திரம் எல்லாம் ஆகி நான் பாடி சீதாராமன் ஒருத்தர்ட்ட ஜம்ஷெட்பூர்ல வேணை கத்துட்டு இருக்கேன் ஓரளவு ஞானம் இருக்கிறதுனால என்ன வந்து டெஸ்ட் பண்ணிட்டேன் டெஸ்ட் பண்ணின உடனே பாடி காமிச்ச உடனே டைரக்டா என்ன ஆறு வருஷ கோர்ஸ்ல கடைசி சிக்ஸ்த் இயர்லயே எலிஜிபிள் நுட்டி எடுத்துட்டு கொஞ்சம் <laughs> உடனே வந்து தெரிய கச்சேரியில இருந்தது வந்து வாத்தாபி கணபதி அது பல்லவி பாடி முடிச்சுட்டு பூதாதிசம் சேவித்த திடீர்னு வார்த்தை மருந்து போச்சு அந்த வார்த்தை மருந்து போச்சுங்கிறத காமிச்சுக்காம திருப்பி திருப்பி உடனே திருப்பி 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 பாடின்னு ராஜம் டீச்சர் ஒரு டீச்சர் உண்டு அந்த டீச்சர் வந்து ஒரு சின்ன சிட்டுல பூதாதின்னு எழுதி நைசா கொண்டு வந்து ஒரு சின்ன குழந்தைட்ட கொடுத்து சைட்ல வந்து பேப்பர் பார்த்தாக்க பூதாதின்னு போட்டு கொடுத்து அப்படியே எனக்கு டக்குன்னு ஞாபகம் வந்துருக்கு அது குரு அந்த சமயத்துல ஃபீலிங் எப்படி இருந்திருக்கும் அவரோட குருத்துவத்தை பத்தி சொல்லணும்னாக்க நிறைய சொல்லலாம் குருவா இருக்கச்சே ரொம்ப ஸ்ட்ரீட்டா இருப்பாரு கொஞ்சம் கூட என்ன அனுட திரும்ப கூடாது அவர் மூஞ்சியே பார்த்து பாடணும் இந்த பாட்டெல்லாம் சொல்லி முடிச்ச அப்புறமா அப்படியே என்ன பொண்ணு மாதிரி ஒரு வாஞ்சையோட என்ன நடத்துவார் அது ஒரு பொண்ணு அதுக்கப்புறமா யூனிவர்சிட்டி கேட்கவே வேண்டாம் டி ஆர் சுப்பிரமணியம் அவர் வந்து ரொம்ப ஜாலியா இருப்பார் ரொம்ப ஜோவியிலாவும் பேசுவார் சுகந்தா காலம் என்னன்னா தெரியும் அவர்கிட்ட பாட பண்ணினது அவர் சொல்லுவார் எந்த லாங்குவேஜ் நீங்க பாடினாலும் பாட போற லிரிக்ஸ் அந்த வார்த்தைகளை ஒரு அவுட் லைன் மீனிங் தெரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க தெரிஞ்சுட்டு அதுக்கப்புறமா பாடுங்க புனோன்சேஷன் ரொம்ப முக்கியம் அதையும் நன்னா தெரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க ஒரேடியா டீப்பா நம்ம போய் ஒன்னொன்னும் தெரிஞ்சுட்டுதான் பண்ணணும்னா நம்மளால ஒண்ணும் பண்ண முடியாது ஆனா ஓரளவுக்கு எல்லாத்தையும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க ஒரு குருவா இருந்தோம்னாக்க என்னெல்லாம் செய்யலாம் என்னெல்லாம் செய்ய கூடாது இருந்தெல்லாம் நான் வந்து இந்த குருக்களுக்கு வந்து தான் நான் கத்துட்டு இருக்கேன் குருத்துவம் அப்படின்னு நம்ம சொன்ன உடனே குருத்துவம்னா என்ன பண்ணணும் என்னது அப்படிங்கிறது இந்த தோணிட்டே இருக்கு குருக்கு நிறைய ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி உண்டு அவர் எப்படி நடந்துக்கிறாரோ அப்படிதான் வந்து சிஷியா நடந்து பல்லியா அம்மா அப்பா வீட்டுல என்ன பண்றோமோ அதை தானே பார்த்துட்டு குழந்தைகளும் பண்றது அதே மாதிரிதானே குரு குலத்துக்கு போனாக்க குருவோட நடவடிக்கைகள் எல்லாம் பார்த்துட்டு சிஷியா அதை பின்பற்றுவோம் குருவை நம்ம நம்பணும் நம்பி குரு என்ன சொல்றாரோ அவர் நமக்கு நன்மைக்கு தான் நம்மளுக்கு சொல்லுவார் குரு மாதா லய பித்தா குரு வந்து அம்மா மாதிரி லய வந்து அப்பா மாதிரி அந்த நம்பிக்கை நம்மளுக்கு எல்லாம் வேணும் அந்த நம்பிக்கைய குடுக்கிறவரும் குருதான் இந்த மாதிரி வந்து எனக்கு ஆரம்பத்துல இருந்து ஒருத்த ஒருத்தோட குரு கிட்டேந்து எங்கெல்லாம் நான் தெரிஞ்சுட்டேன் அப்படிங்கறத நான் சொல்லிட்டேன் அடுத்தது என்னன்னாக்க நம்ம குருவா ஆனப்புறமா நான் என்னெல்லாம் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அப்படிங்கறத சொன்னேன் சங்கரி மாமி சொன்னான்னுட்டு அது மாதிரி எனக்கு ஒரு எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் வந்தது ஒரு சின்ன குழந்தை அந்த குழந்தைக்கு வரைக்கும் வந்து வரிசையா மோகனம் வரைக்கும் சொல்லி கொடுத்தேன் கல்யாணி வரைக்கும் சொல்லி கொடுத்தேன் ஆல் இண்டியா ரேடியோல குட்டி குழந்தைகளுக்கு அவா வந்து இது வச்சிருந்தா ஆடிஷன் போடலாம் அப்படின்னு அவ அம்மா வந்து குழந்தைய ஆடிஷனுக்கு அனுப்பட்டுமா அந்த மாதிரி குட்டி குழந்தைகளுக்கு இதை வரைக்கும் தெரிஞ்சிருந்தாக்க அந்த குழந்தைகளுக்கு என்ன கேட்டிருக்கா நீ அவுடவர் ஆகத்துல ஒரு கீதம் பாடு 
இந்த குழந்தைக்கு நன்னா தெரியும் அவுடவரா மோகனராகவும் தெரியும் ஆனலேக்கரா தெரியும் ஆனா அவுடவராகவும் தெரியாது அவ வந்து மோகனத்துல பாடு இல்ல வந்து சுத சவேரியில பாடுன்னா பாடி இருக்கும் அது ஆனா அவுடவ ராகத்துல ஒரு கீதம் பாடுன்னு சொன்ன உடனே டீச்சர் எனக்கு அவுடவ ராகம் கீதம் சொல்லி தரலாம் ஓடி வந்து அவ அம்மா சொன்ன அந்த மாதிரி ஆச்சு அப்ப நான் ரியலைஸ் பண்ணேன் சின்ன குழந்தைகளா இருந்தா கூட வித்து தேரி ரொம்ப சொல்லி கொடுத்துடணும் அப்படிங்கறது இந்த சங்கரி மாமி எனக்கு அன்னைக்கு சொன்னா இல்ல அந்த மாதிரி அந்த குழந்தை சேர்ந்து எனக்கு இந்த பாடம் கிடைச்சு அதுவும் ஒரு குருத்துவத்துல சேர்ந்ததுதான் குருக்கு என்ன தேவைப்படுறது பாருங்க குருக்கிட்டே நம்ம என்னெல்லாம் கத்துண்டோமோ வெறும் பாட்டு மட்டும் நான் சொல்லல பிஹேவியரும் சேர்த்துதான் சொல்றேன் அந்த குழந்தைட்ட இருந்து நம்ம இதை கத்துணும் ஒரு விதத்துல வந்து குருவை நமஸ்காரம் பண்றோம் குரு என்ன சொல்றாரோ அதே கேக்குறோம் ஆனா வந்து ஹிந்தியில ஒரு சே உண்டு மானோ நெஹி ஜானோ அப்படின்பா கேக்குறத வந்து அப்படியே எடுத்துக்காது அத வந்து நீ கரெக்டா இருக்கான்னு பாரு சார் சொல்லுவார் எனக்கு நான் சொல்லிட்டேன்னு நீ வந்து உடனே அதை அப்படியே பைகாட் பண்ணாத நான் சொன்னது கரெக்ட் தானே நீ டெஸ்ட் பண்ணி பாரு மானோ நெஹி ஜானோ அப்படியே சொல்லத்தை வந்து அப்படியே கேட்டுடாது நீ அதை வந்து புரிஞ்சுக்கோ இதெல்லாம் வந்து எனக்கு நிறைய குருக்கள்லாம் எனக்கு இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் சின்ன சின்ன விஷயம் உங்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 Mikhail's daughter, distinguished and highly decorated. Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha. My Namaskarams to Sukhandar Ji, Vajayakan Sir, Amala Narayan Ji and all the students of Raga and Vedam including Malini and Vidwan Kollega Subramanyam's family. I feel highly privileged to be part of such an important meet to commemorate the 92nd Jayanti of Guru Sangeetha Maha Mahapadhyaya Nadopasaka Shreshtha Sri Vidyopasaka Shreshtha Brahma Sri Vallegal Asubramanyam sir. And thank you dear Valhi and your students for inviting me to be a part of your music institution Raga and Rhythm on this auspicious occasion. I have known Malini and her family from her childhood and I feel really very proud to see her achievements both academically and in the field of music also i am very happy to talk about gurudwam and my learnings from my various gurus already vaidyanathan sir sugandha ji and kamala narayan they all spoke so well and i feel <laughs> i don't know much about all these things but still i want to present whatever my opinions about gurudwam in my own manner the word guru has a very special place in our indian culture when we are born our gurus or our teachers or our parents first the term guru is given so much importance as we need a guru in every aspect of our life from birth till our death and gurus impart us with good knowledge good advice and the ways of the world as they are learned and have experience of the world and gurus inculcate values humane thinking and discipline among the disciples and show them the path how to go further we call them mentors teachers advisors someone whose ideas we respect and would like like to imbibe their qualities in our music or art science or anything and each of the gurus have their own style and ways of teaching and we are indeed fortunate to learn from them for some people who are not able to go to a guru they also do learn but always feel a sense of having lost out on the nuances of learning even the great singers always feel that they could have it better or improved their art with a guru's presence for example in 2009 in bangalore i had gone as a judge with padma bhushan sp balasubramanyam sir in a reality show in etv kannada ede to be hard venu even balasubramanyam sir also feels he says i should have learned from a guru but he said he is a self taught but in spite of that he said if i have learned from a guru it would have been better for me that's why i always have a lot of respect for all the persons all the artists who learn from a guru what better way to celebrate the importance of a guru than on this or her jayanti guru vandana means reverence for the teacher a thanksgiving from a student expressing his or her gratitude as malini and her students are celebrating today and now i will come to my gurus and my training with my vocal music and go to vadyam i started my vocal music at 
the age of five, first of my mother and then Rivandran Subramanian when he was about five years old. He taught me vocal music so well and he was from Kerala. So he used to teach me very grand critiques of Lalita Dasar and Swati Vipul Thirunar and all like that. And I was so young to understand all these things but he was very encouraging. Next came my guru, my school teacher, Srimati Jeeva Rangarai Kamma and uh, she is the illustrious daughter of the Jeeva Dhanga who has founded Sri Rama Lalita Kala Mandira in Bangalore and now her brother Krishna Prasad Prasad is running the institution very successfully. Jeevirang and Aikama also has taught very nice Krutis and Varnams and I learned many Krutis from her as a high school student. Then at college also I took music as one of my optional subjects. The first teacher was G. Chennamma who was a student of Veena Krishna Swabaya. She was a great disciplinarian. She used to make fun of children also who did not sing well. But she was a very good teacher and she liked me so much. Even after my marriage I went to Gujarat and then also whenever I came to Bangalore she insisted on my learning from her even for 15 days or whatever it is in a year. Till her death it went on like that. Next was El Raja Rao who was a Vairika as well as a vocal teacher in my graduation. And El Raja Rao also was very good in theory and I was very good in theory also. So he used to like me very much. All the teachers I knew they had their own way of training. We have to imbibe whatever good in them we had to take and collect and put it in our music. That is the main uh, motto. Next came our Kolega Subramaniam's teacher, Belakwa Varadaraja Inger also was my teacher in my college. He was such a strict teacher. He used to speak very hilariously. He had a very good sense of humor. We used to like him very much. His pattern of teaching was very much different. He used to tell us, today you have to sing Bhairavi Varnam in all the Trikalas and not with the Sahityam and all. From the starting itself till the end, including all Chitteswarams and Yattugalasvarams, we have to sing in Akarams. So that was not easier at all. But he asked us to try that with so much rigorous training, you know, he has made us so much knowledgeable. Today also I remember him for all these things. Next came my go to Adyam learning. It was a big story because, you know, I was a vocalist and then in between around 75, 1975, I developed some thyroid problem and I was not able to continue my vocal music and I lost my voice completely. According to doctor's advice, I had to give up my vocal music completely. Learning for vocal music for so many years, it was not an easy thing to give up my favorite subject music so easily. So I wanted to learn some instrument and substitute my vocal music. I did not know what to do. Doctor told me you better learn an instrument. So I learned violin for some time. And then my children, they were learning Bharatanatyam, Darpana Academy of Performing Arts. With them, my Guruji Pushwatam sir, he used to accompany Gautu Vadyam for all their dance programs. It is used in dance music and gaya natakas and dance dramas as an accompanying instrument. One of Nidani Sarabhai's programs, I met my Guruji Pushwatam sir. He knew me as a vocalist. He knew what knowledge I had in vocal music. So I approached him and I asked him, sir, can I learn Gautu Vadyam from you? Because at that time, I was not very young. I was already in my late 30s. So then doctor said, oh, Besha Vango, Ninga Kandipa Patikala. Then, you know, that has given me a lot of courage and I started learning Gautu Vadyam from Pushwatam sir. I had to start from the beginning, which was not so easy. And at a later age, to start an instrument also, so it's not easy, you know, your fingers and everything is so hard and also it gives a lot of problems, other problems are also there. Somehow I started learning. Within two years of learning, my teacher told me, you have learned 25 years of Vatantaram. I was very apprehensive in the beginning to find a guru who would understand my limitations. But what better guru than Sri Purushottam sir to learn such a rare and difficult instrument. Those days in 1980s, there was no Carnatic music at all, not much of Carnatic music, there was music in Ahmedabad. After three, four years, Purushottam sir told me you apply for radio now. But at that time, no Karnataka music section in Ahmedabad. I belong to Bangalore. I applied for Bangalore radio, giving my parents address in Bangalore. Then I started playing Gautu from 1988 in Bangalore radio and Doordarshan also. In 1995, I could get a A grade also and I could play Nakash Vani Sangeet Samil and, and a national program of music and again, Ravi Vasari Sangeet program and even TV national program, Nada Sangama, everything. You know, I was fortunate enough to get all the programs and I was very fortunate about my guru. Today also I am very indebted to him. Not even a single day goes without remembering him. Prashwatham sir, Denji Nani Shalwar Ningo vandhi, Manargudi Savitri Ammal Madriye, Minna Varano Avar Madriye, Peredikano Adda Ungil Gashir Vadam Shalwar. He was like my father figure. He used to teach me with so much interest and patience and perseverance. But the enna parchalu kuda, as a student it is important to practice, have perseverance, patience and be 
disciplined also. Vaidyanathan sir, Kamala Mami, Sugadha Mami, all the shoulder madri. Guru Vada Anugraham namalakke completely irukkano. Appada namalakke and the Vidya vandha thalai kiyaru. Otherwise, one Vidya namalakke kandipa varar. Iti shalli naan in ude. Thank you, Malini, and your students for the invitation to take part in the Zoom program. Gurutvam, and thank you and namaskarams to all of you. Thank you all. I would like to express my absolute deepest gratitude to all the esteemed panelists. When I was thinking, Guru's Jayanti is on the 11th of September, so what should we do this year? So that was when I immediately messaged Vidushi Usha Ramamurti, Vidhan, Sriman B. Vaitinathan sir, Vidushi Sugandha Prada Megam, and of course our own Vidushi Kamala Mami. And believe me, the very next moment they said, why not? We are all in. As I was writing to my students today morning, seeing great gurus, think not of that personal ends first. It is music which is a larger frame and they become a part of this larger frame and they just devote themselves, their lives to this larger window which is just music. That was such a big carry home for me. And then I pray to my guru, just hope that today the net is fine and we have a seamless meet of such beautiful panel. And I think I don't need to add anything more because we have had such beautiful insights, such interesting anecdotes and together they've painted a myriad canvas of guruness, of gurutvam, of experiences, of givingness in every which way. So the more I talk, I think I'm going to take away from all that we have experienced in today's meet. So I'm just going to end by thanking all of them 